Episode 2. The Flash. The moment a nuclear device detonates, the world doesn't hear it, sees it. A flash erupts brighter than the sun, flooding the sky with white light that spreads faster than sound. For a fraction of a second, day becomes something far more intense. A blinding, devouring brightness that wipes out all shadows. No camera can fully capture it. No human eye can truly process it. At the center forms the fireball, a sphere of heat hot enough to melt steel, vaporize metal, erase buildings, and turn earth into glowing glass. It expands in perfect silence, growing wider, brighter, larger than anything nature could create. For those close to it, everything ends in an instant, before thought, before fear, before sound. Farther out, the light becomes a weapon of its own. Skin burns instantly, clothing ignites, and in some places, shadows become permanently etched into walls. Dark silhouettes left behind by bodies that block the light for only a moment. It is one of the most haunting marks a nuclear flash leaves behind. The atmosphere reacts violently. Air near the fireball rises, twisting into a column of heat. Clouds glow orange, then white, as if the horizon has been overridden by a second sun. Animals fall silent. People miles away feel warmth on their skin, without knowing why. And for a brief instant, the world looks unreal, overexposed, washed in light frozen in time. But the flash is only the beginning. Within seconds, another force races outward. Faster, heavier, and far more destructive. In episode 3, we witness what follows the light. The moment the air itself becomes a weapon, the shockwave 